Hello everybody and welcome back to Project Zomboid. I was just doing some off-stream grinding for carpentry. Then I realized I needed the next book. So I went looting and of course the first home I enter has a house alarm. So I thought, you know, that's kind of an uh, <laughs> irrelevant bit. So I'm just gonna start recording. I was almost done with my grind anyways. Of course I had plans for today but those plans kind of fell through with this event, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be interesting. So yeah, we have another house alarm to deal with. Fun. It's actually um, yeah, house alarms aren't that rare at all, so it is something to keep in mind. And um, yeah, let's just see. Maybe we can get to our piles. I did luckily um, sort our uh, sort our pile, so that's really nice. So I can at least take a baseball bat and an extra club hammer. Sweet! And now I'm gonna lead the zombies away from here, and I'm just gonna dip. I'm just gonna see if I can get away from here, because zombies will be. Uh, coming in for a while to come. I hope they don't trash my place. Of course the timing is horrible. I kind of need some food. I need a lot of things. I need to uh, address my anxiety, my depression. It's fun. The house alarm always knows when you uh, when you really can't... Uh, when you really don't need that kind of shit. <laughs> Part of the game. Something you have to learn to deal with. It's kind of fun. A couple of episodes ago someone mentioned that um, in the comments, oh shit, that I should maybe um, add some goals and stuff, what I want to do to uh, to the videos. And I've been thinking about doing that, but this kind of shows that sometimes you can't really plan. Sometimes you want to do stuff and then shit just comes up, you know? Right, let's deal with these zombies and let me quickly show you something that I just ran into. These fences. These are broken, right? Zombies broke these fences, but somehow I can walk through the middle one, not through the others. That is something that is really important to know. You might think, oh, I could just hop through here and sometimes if you just get stuck here for a second, you get jumped on. So that's uh, spicy. Hmm. Yeah. I said I was gonna go, but I'm kinda... Kinda seems like it's not that bad. Interesting. You know, let's just go back, see what it's like there. Patrol our area a little bit, see what, what we can do. So, yeah, sadly I haven't gotten to carpentry level 7 yet. Hmm. I was on my way to grind there, but then I needed another book. And without the book, it is so hacking slow. It is not fun. It's doable, you'll get there eventually, but if you're really, you know, trying to do it efficiently and all, and all that, it is not fun. Mm. Take a baseball bat on the back. Luckily I have uh, a good stack of weapons. I could have picked up more, but I'm gonna hope this will do. Oh, that was a big whiff. Yeah, considering the house alarm spans like 600 tiles, I'm really surprised and confused that it's so chill here still. But maybe they're just uh, coming in slowly. Yeah, not too bad. Alrighty, let's just check some of these homes. 
Luckily there's a large fence here, so even if they came in from this direction, they would go around the fence. That's gonna that's gonna help a lot. Let's see if we can find the uh, carpentry book we need. And if we do not trigger another alarm. Oh well. There's only dog food here to open it seems. Oh there's actually also other cans, never mind. No, at least we're not gonna starve. So yeah, this is something that is, um, you know, likely to happen. Sometimes you're not going to find every book you need. That's a bit of a shame, but because it's, it's very tempting to try and do everything as efficient as possible. But sometimes you just can't. Just like, you know, you're going to miss some TV shows, stuff like that. Nope, no carpentry book. I have been here. I've been inside yet, but I did come past here. I wanted to check out this car. I actually was thinking about wrecking all the beds in all these homes, but I was like, you know what? I might get a house alarm. So I didn't. And then I started looting for books and I got the house alarm after all. Ooh, shotgun. I think I'm I'm gonna leave everything. I'm gonna come back here. I'm just gonna check the books. Because if I start looting, then it's just gonna take me forever. And I'm gonna have to drop off all my stuff in no time. Oh. That's a nice bathrobe you got there. Alright, so depressed, agitated, it's not great. Let me at least have a smoke. Hopefully that'll help also a little bit with our depression. This could be a great place for a base, by the way. These homes, with the, if, the, if you have these large fences to work with, some walls they can destroy, it's really nice. I think I've already looted the school for books. Let me check. Did I make a note? Yeah, I've definitely been to the school for books. I've been to the post office, right? Yeah. Is there another place for books? I thought there was a third location we could go for books. Mm, I think this, these are churches. Here's the bank. I don't know if there's a proper bookstore. We could check it out. Yeah, that might make sense, actually. I had a little peek in the shopping center. And it really wasn't that bad when I checked it out. It wasn't nearly as busy as I thought it would be. Because I don't know if... Um, if going house by house... That's gonna be uh, our best, give us the best odds to find this book. Plus, every home is another chance for a house alarm, which I, it's, it's not, yeah, it's a little bit scary. I do hop a lot of these fences because I'm impatient. As long as you're not drowsy and stuff, it's not too bad, probably. Oh. Okay, luckily it's just the one. Oh, do you have a hunting knife? I'll take your hunting knife. Nutrition one. 
No, nope, not going lucky yet. Well, we're almost back at the home. Oh, there we can see the horde that we created with a house alarm. It's not as bad, actually. Not as bad as I feared. It's a nice car. Have I ever mentioned that I'm an impulsive person? Okay, so this place is a little bit more busy now. <laughs> it definitely affected the area, but... It could be worse, it could be way worse. You can hit zombies mid-hop. Mid well, you do have to hit them though, so it's not without risk. If you hit a zombie mid-hop, they can't lunge at, at you afterwards, so that's kind of nice. Mm. Getting drowsy, that's a shame. I was doing carpentry till, and, until deep into the night. So yeah, only 50% damage. We have a heavy weapon, that's not ideal, but... Oh, matches. I like matches. Watches. What else, what else? A hoodie. Bright green. Man, it takes so long to switch weapon when you're... when you're depressed. Level up, let's go. What's that? Level 2 short blunt. Same as the long blunt. Let's peek around this corner, because corners are deaf. Let's pause real quick. 43% engine. Engine quality is 56. Basically, if the engine quality is quite low, I'm not going to fix up the engine. The 43 condition machine gear is doable. I think it, it might stall now and then, but if you take that into account, if you expect the worst at any time and you don't derive real hordes, it's it's okay. We can still use it for uh you know for transporting stuff, but I'd rather hold out for a better one. Now let's see if we can sneak our way back to our home. I do not want to pull a whole hacking horde to our base. And I do want to check out if it's safe at all before I get too tired. So if I end up having to fight a whole bunch of zombies here, then yeah, that's going to be rough. Okay, looks like we're good. I'm actually not even going to walk around the home. As long as I'm quiet, it doesn't matter if there's zombies right out back. As you can see, I did sort stuff. All our food is here in this pile, I think. Maybe a couple leftover thingies there. All the mats are here. I have crafting pile, random pile, another crafting pile, three weapon piles because it didn't fit on one tile, clothing pile. Because I did, I have been thinking like, I don't really wanna keep this as a long-term base. I would have to make a wall all the way around 360 degrees and I do like this location but I'm a hoarder I need more space for my loot I suppose I could just fill the entire home with boxes but I don't like that and um, yeah I just I want to do it differently. I would ideally like something that already has a couple walls around. 
or something that just doesn't have windows on all sides, but... Right, I never ate the dog food. Let me drop some cans. Alright, let's go check out the, the streets. Let's go check out the shopping center, I guess. I know it's a little bit dark. Let me zoom in so hopefully you guys can see something too. Let's go check if there's a bookstore. I could check the map, of course. But let's go in blind for once. Mm, I don't think all the way at the end. What is that? Furniture, clothing, sports, good stores. We've already been here. Food mart. Definitely check that out at some point. I have a lot of stuff on me. I'm pretty sure I've already checked. I mean, I know for sure I've checked here. I've even come back to uh, destroy all the furniture. At least the furniture I found worthwhile. I just want to make ultra sure they really don't have carpentry for. It would be so stupid if we just missed it here. Four, no, that's part three. Part one. One, two. Plenty of cardboard boxes. Oh, what's that? Carpentry 2 again. Lower numbers are going to be more common. No. Okay, just had to check. I kind of knew. Sometimes you know, but you don't know, no, you know? Oh, that's another hunting knife. You can see just a little bit of brown, like brass color on the end of the knife. That makes it easier to spot the hunting knife. This here is a hotel, as you can see. Oh, this isn't actually in a hotel room. I think this is where the owner lives. Probably. Or maybe it's just a bigger suite, but... But most of these rooms will have double beds, so that's fantastic for Carpentry XP. And I was gonna go there to grind, but... Then I decided against it, because, you know, I definitely want that book first. I have been grinding for a bit without it. Let me see. Yeah, only 126 XP for the next into the next level. That's like I don't know. Not that much more than the 45th. That's like a couple percent. And I think I I I destroyed a lot of shit for that XP. Yes. Enigma books. I knew there was a third location for books. Oh, look at that. Survive a zombie with a large backpack. Awesome. We're getting quite panicked. Let's take some pills. Just lead them back to where we came from, because we know that side of town is a bit more chill by now. Just from us being near our base so often. It's gonna limit the respawns in that area. It can really, it can really pay to be a home dweller. I want your backpack. I think it's only a small hiking bag. But still, equip on back. 
spear isn't so good, the stone hammer, eh. Let's equip this bag secondary, take out our hammer so we can fight if we must. So we go from 18 capacity to 20, but also a bit better weight reduction, so that's nice. Now, I don't like that this is above the other bag, so I'm going to drop it. And then pick it up again, and now it is below the hiking bag. Just a little thing. Ooh, antidepressants, I need those. I think I already had some, but... Let's just take two, and then wait. That's usually how I do it. If you're really depressed, even two pills doesn't seem to do that much, but I do think that it kind of works throughout the day. I think it keeps working for a while, so I'll just take two and I'll take more if I need to. Luckily, medication this game is a little bit simplified. Oh shit, look at that! It's not a survivor, this one has a large backpack. That is huge. 27 capacity. Alright, double upgrade. Okay, then we'll drop this. And we'll drop the hiking bag. Make sure it's safe. Take everything into the large backpack. Sweet. I will keep. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep both. It's good to have a couple extra bags. I'll also take the wooden spear. Man, we can carry so much more now. It's really lucky even finding any military looking bags in town. Because typically you need survivor zombies to bring them to you, but they, they're kinda it's an event. And you you can't be guaranteed that it might just not happen in your town. And usually if I really need a backpack. I mean I'm not gonna go out looking for a backpack in the first weeks, not I mean I'll check I'll check bedrooms of course for clothing and for backpacks. But if I have found a, a hiking bag in a in a bedroom then that's, that'll do for a while. But if I'm settled, if I have a base set up and everything, and I really want a backpack, I'll go for a, for a ride through the countryside, I guess. <laughs> I'll go drive over, uh, over narrow roads. I don't think they have to be narrow, but narrow roads typically have fewer zombies at least. And there's sometimes you'll find a little clump of, of 20 zombies and a couple of them will be survivors with a backpack. What they call a backpack event. All right. Let's see, how's your club hammer doing? Great shape still, sweet. I'm starting to wonder now, I haven't been to Enigma books, right? I would feel so silly. Oh, Carpentry 4. First, first bookshelf, let's go. No, I don't think I've been here. <laughs> I know I have Carpentry 5 at home. So yeah, I don't have to bring, uh, have to, don't have to look for that. At least, at least now we can continue the carpentry grind. That is huge. You may have seen a little stutter. That's because one zombie got turned into a crawler. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. There's so many little tips and tricks, and I don't write a script or anything, so I'm bound to repeat myself here and there. Lead pipe is supposedly, I never checked, but 
is supposedly the best short blunt weapon for damage. So it's always a fun find. Uh, Hunter magazine free. That's that's really good. It lets us make traps. I still have not made a list of the books I have, the books I want. So I'm just gonna... I actually don't even know what I'm gonna be on the lookout for. I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna go take Carpentry 4, start reading. I usually re don't really care that much about other skills, to be honest. Oh! Uh, I don't think we even have a generator magazine, do we? Generator manual. Lane's auto manual. Commercial models, we've read it. Performance... Um, models, we have not read, so I'm taking that. Good cooking, one, that's good. Yeah, I will just double check, make sure there's not... Um, there aren't any gen mags, so that would be really hacking good. I'm pretty sure there isn't. So that is a bit of an issue if we don't find that. There's a really good chance we'll just find it in a home. Typically, I don't know, sometimes you'll find a couple in the school, sometimes I'll have to uh, scour half the city. Yeah, let's just book it, start reading, get our carpentry grind on in the, in the hotel. Holy fog, by the way. A little bit nuts. I've been looking for some good base locations in the middle of town, and I did realize that uh, the tool store it doesn't have any back doors, so you don't have to put walls all around it to protect your windows and stuff. That's really nice. So we could even make the tool store our base. Just get rid of all these shelves. Pick up some weapons now that we're here. Garden home, trowel. We're not hurting for weapons, but... Hand scythe. Can we attach that to our belt? Yes, I've never fought with a hand. Well, I've probably done it once way back, but I never do for some reason. Oh, we're actually full. Whoops. Well, we're almost done. So yeah, we could make this our base. I kind of like that idea. It's a bit different, something I haven't done before. This place doesn't have sinks though, but I think... Mm, no, I'm not sure if this is a... Oh, it's a clothing store. I think this is a restaurant or a diner, something like that. So we have to be able to get sinks here. And that would be a good reason to show you how to uh, move uh, move your own sink, stuff like that. We could do that. I also just like these metal sinks. Hmm, not a bad idea. Oh, rotten omelette. I wasn't in time. Pancakes rotten, waffles rotten. Don't do me like this game. The saddest thing. Oh, the saddest thing. Let's uh, let's just take some fresh food. Actually, I'll be back here. Just gonna eat an apple.
So many garbage bags. Beautiful. I still get excited about garbage bags. I think we have like... I think we have 20, 26, 7, 8, something in that range. So we can make at least five, uh, 6 or 7 water collectors, which is really nice. Alright, let's head back home. I just really like the look of a military jacket and then the military backpack. Actually, it's called the large backpack, but still. I always think it looks kind of cool. Oh, cool. um, somewhere. Yep, here's a trash bag with 22 bags. Perfect. Do we have more? Do we have more? I think that's it. This is our various pile. There is one more bag after all. A bunch of weapons. Sweet. I'll dump the books inside and I'll just start reading. Hell yeah. All right. I don't know if you could just hear that, but I read the book, I slept, I woke up and I heard a clunk and that's the power going off. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check the switch. Yep. The switch doesn't work, so we don't have any power. So game over, man. Game over for power. That's fine now. It's really not that big of a deal. We're just gonna find more and more rotten food, sadly. Well. That's the last chance to eat our ice cream, I suppose. Because ice cream will go bad. That didn't always used to be the case, but... It is now. Hmm... There, let me put this water in this bottle and I can dump this one. Just declutter my inventory a little bit. All right, books finished. I guess we can go do our carpentry grind. But first, gotta kill a couple zombies. Sweet, that's another hunting knife. I think those are great. Oh, I still have a couple books I'm gonna dump. A couple more weapons. We probably have enough. It's getting a little bit silly. I also want to be able to take some wood home with me. I do want to read these, but there's no rush. I haven't been using my car all that much because it's so loud. The van, I mean. And uh, it's nice to get a bit of uh, a bit of sprinting XP. And close to level two. It's the higher it gets, the less uh, less quickly you're gonna get fatigued. So it's kind of nice. This, by the way, could also be a pretty good base. You have a lot of windows that are potential weak points. But if I were to make this a base, I would just make a wall here. And I would um, also put a wall around the end. That makes sense, like so. And then you actually have a place to fish in your own base. Because you can do fishing in a, in a pool or a pond. It's kind of silly. It's the best kind of silly, because it's useful and it's kind of cheesy. <laughs> nice. 
Any goodies here? I'm not even sure what I'm looking for, but... Alright, well, let the grind begin. Besides the large bed, the... The wardrobe is also a decent source of XP. You can get a mod that lets you disassemble things even if there are items inside. It's a small thing, but it can be a little annoying that you want to disassemble and it says, oh, it has items in container, you have to take them out. There's sometimes another container and now the disassemble thingy is gone, you have to click it again. It's it's only a couple seconds of work, but it's just nice. Nice quality of life thing. I'll pick up some nails. You can also get a lot of towels here. If you do a run with like cryogenic winter or something. Having bath towels is really nice because you can dry yourself off. If you get here, we're moist. You can do dry self. And, well, it works better if you're already wet. And bath towels do wear down. So it's really nice to have access to those. Because um, if you're wet and your clothing is wet, it has less insulation. So if you're doing a really spicy winter run, and that matters, then... Oh, what am I doing? Then it's just... Yeah, a really nice option, but honestly, in a normal run, typically, the cold really isn't much of an issue. You can get so many, so much clothing everywhere. It would be cool if they made winters a little spicier, at least optional. The cold has never... I always get our winter clothing... Oh god. Bye. <laughs> that was a little silly on my part, but... Oh, what's that around your hip? Do you have a fanny back? Or is it just a belt? Fanny pack, let's go. Wear on the front. You will hold my lighter and my smokes. And my ripped sheets. Just a good way to declutter my backpack a little bit. And a battery, antidepressants. So I just put my beta blockers in there, but I'm gonna need those so often anyways. It's fine. Leave them where they are. Another nice things about, uh, thing about these hotels is you can get uh, pillows. And with four pillows you can make your own makeshift mattress and or bed. So what's nice is if you ever want to live in the middle of nowhere, you want to live off the land, be self-sufficient, all that stuff. Then you can bring four pillows. And the rest you can probably forage or craft or something. You don't have to bring an entire bed. So that's really nice. I've never had to do it, but it's one of those little things. It's, it's so nice, the, the level of detail in this game. It's, it's absolutely silly. The best kind of silly though. So it just gives you so many options. Ooh, this place is pretty. I like it. I like the rugs. Maybe I'll steal some of those eventually. Eh, who am I kidding? I'm gonna forget in two minutes that I saw those rugs. A level seven. I was just about to get bored with this. Perfect. Probably cut out a bunch. But it didn't it didn't take a stupid amount of time. But I'm glad it's done. Alright. I've decided 
that I am indeed going to make the hardware store the base. It's nice central in town. That's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It's just a thing. I just like that. Um, yeah, that I'm not going to have to build walls on all 360 degrees. Because zombies are way too interested in wood. No giggity. Zombies by default, you can turn it off a sandbox, but z z zombies will often choose a wall over a survivor, which is really silly. So I really don't want to have to put walls on all sides. But as I as I've shown before, this doesn't have uh, windows and doors in the backs anyways. Can we pick up this glass? We have to pick up. There we go. So yeah, we could just put a little wall out front. It's gonna be good. So a lot of the moving of goodies I'll do off stream. I won't bore you with that. But we can at least start on some construction here. Hmm. I don't think we have a lot of planks here, but that's okay. I should... I should pick up a bunch of planks from, from the hotel. And we have some nails. Yeah, we can at least board up the front a little bit. That's gonna... Yeah, that's... I like that idea. JS2000 shotgun, although poor condition, no ammo, so screw it. I think these uh, upstairs there were a bunch with double beds. I'm gonna assume those have a fair, uh, a good amount of planks. Yeah, we don't even need that much as long as we have at least a couple planks on uh, on each window we could at least make a good start I'm probably gonna overload myself a lot but that's fine probably we find zombies, we're just gonna drop a whole stack of planks. And we'll be good. Now we can at least barricade a little a bit. Shit, shit, shit. I found some zombies. And we're a little bit exerted. That's not brilliant. Moderate exertion, we're still pretty heavy. Right, we still had one plank in our hand, huh? Okay, that's better. Let's switch to the scythe. I assume... Oh! It kind of fights like a machete. Does it count as long blade? I'm gonna have to check that out. I've always kind of discounted the scythe, but I love the machete. Oh, it's already broken. <laughs> Well, good to know. Do we have long blade XP now? Zero long blade XP. I guess it's just a, a pretty crappy... What you call it? A pretty crappy meat cleaver. Here, three planks on that one. So we at least block visibility. I should have picked up sheets, but eh. We'll find sheets. Or we'll go back. Sweet. Home sweet home. I 
that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna celebrate this momentous occasion with a bit of ice cream. And let's see, it's 8 p.m. We don't have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot. Let's have a smoke though. Let's head back and we'll see what we really, really need. I think I'm just going to pick up all the stuff that that we need to make, um, yeah, to craft. Because we're going to need some stairs. We're going to need to get to the roof, make some water collectors. I'll pick up the nails, stuff like that. Put a lot of shit in, into, the, into the van. We're going to need an axe. Take like the ropes so we can make so we can make stacks of logs. What else? What else? Do we have axes? Man, I hope we have an axe, but I don't think we do, do we? Oh, that's a little bit shitty. We're gonna have to make our own axe. Well, That's okay, we'll make our own axe. Wait, have I not already done that? Recently. I thought I already made an axe. No, maybe I just said I would. I think I... yeah. Alright, we'll take all the nails. Tonight we'll sleep here. We don't even have a bed in the new place anyways. Yeah, no, no axe. That's rough. Well, as luck would have it, there's quite a bit of wood around us. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick up one load of lumber. And I can always pick up some more wood at the hotel, so that's good. I just already put some of this stuff in here. Mm. Yep, let's start collecting planks. Uh oh. Let's surprise visitors. Of course, that happens when I'm heavy as heck. It's always my favorite. Let me just drop these planks. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. And we're good. You should probably really look around before you do something like this. It's always better to to check your surroundings. By the way, if you have some bodies lying around that you've already that have already been here, after a couple days or maybe after a week, I think after a couple of days maggots will spawn. It depends on the temperature. I'm not sure if it happens in winter. Maggots are good fishing bait, so that's definitely uh worth looking out for if you do want to be more self-sufficient or whatever. But honestly, in a quote-unquote normal run, you really don't have to worry too much about that. You can find plenty food to just keep yourself alive for a whole year, just in, in town. Just the canned food and stuff. There's so much. Some of the survival tips. For self-sufficiency. Well, if you just never want to go into town, then it's relevant. But also, if you um, if you do a run with extremely rare loads, stuff like that, then only then it's normally a big issue. Alright, let me drop off some more planks. We have a good start. I think 15 is enough for stairs. Oh, oh! We have 18 more planks here, I forgot about those. I already collected a couple off stream. It is getting very dark. So I'm just gonna drop these on the ground. I'm also drowsy, I don't wanna get snuck up on from behind. I'm just gonna go sleep. 
keep an ear out, see if, uh, no, no zombies after us, perfect. Maybe we could just have a bottle of wine, because it's calories. I don't typically drink it during the day, because it just makes you sleepy. But right before bed, it's a perfect uh, late night snack, I suppose. Right, let's sleep and continue uh, the lumber stuff to mo in the morning. Oh, I love wakeful. Not even 5 p.m. Uh, 5 a.m. Uh, we're already good to go again. Beautiful. Just a quick peek. No visitors. As far as I could see. Oh, shit. Car is full. All right, what we can do. Let me see, do we still have a generator on the seat? We do. Darn. Now then I have a different idea. I can pick up a bag. Let's take the biggest one. Equip secondary. And we'll fill this bag up with blanks, as many as we can. It's not all that much actually, huh? Well, every, every plank, every extra plank is good. I hope there's a shortcut here. I think... Oh, no, we would have to go for here. Okay, we'll go around. I could have disassembled some of these... Some of these little picket fences and make a shortcut. Can we squeeze through here? Does that would work? It's a little yikes because it's hard to see the trees sometimes, but it works. Perfect. Right, take generator. We are stupid heavy. Drop the generator and drop the bag. And we'll drop the planks out of the bag. All this stuff will drop too. Seven empty gas cans. I didn't realize we had so many. Huh. Let's spit a weight. That's okay though. Make sure put just a couple more barricades on each. There, three on each, and now we have a bit of privacy from zombies. Perfect. So I'm not sure what's going to be the best call for the stairs. I think the best way to do it will be to place stairs inside here because I don't want zombies walking up. So, oh, we can't disassemble that. Can we disassemble this? Because I would much rather make my own storage. Oh, wait. I did pick up. Whoops. Let's try that again. Can I place these? These are nice shells, but... By the way, if you already have one of these selected with tab, you can cycle through the other options. So you could do pick up, click, tab to place. All right, let's just dump all the stuff on the ground. Luckily, I already looted the bunch. Now we're going to bring stuff back. It's a little silly, but you know, that's what you get when you're impulsive and sometimes you do work double. 
if there's furniture in furniture, like the floodlights were in, in this container, you can just drag them to the ground sadly. You have to pick them up, place them manually. That's not that much work. You just, you know, need to have the space. Well, it's more carpentry XP at least. Even when uh, you are already at level 7 and you think, oh, that's high enough le level to make the best walls. Um, having a higher level will let you make stronger walls. Walls do have hit points and it's variable. At some levels it might be even beneficial to make log walls, but the game code, there are some people that argue about if it's changed, if it's, you know, if, if what the wiki says is correct. But honestly, I would just do what's easiest. Uh, pick up these. If you have, if log walls are the only thing you could do, just make them. They are quite strong. If you can make uh, the wooden wall frame and make what people would call proper walls, go for it. I'm just gonna unfavorite and favorite everything here. I'm just gonna do the loot all. Pick up as much stuff as I can, fast forward through it. Because right now it's a scattered mess and I wanna organize a little bit better. I'm excited to start building. I want to make a bit more of a long-term solution to certain stuff. Especially now that we're out of power and out of water. It's really no biggie getting water uh, from the neighbors and stuff, but it's just something... Or a bit of comfort. I just really want to have my own water supply. Wait. Um, I think yeah, we're full. Two hundred weight here. Oof, that's a lot. That's a lot of planks. That's really nice. Take all the planks from here. Is that all? I think so. I guess, hmm, I haven't thought about a layout, like, at all. Um, I think I'll put the stairs somewhere around here. Carpentry, stairs... I think these... Wait. Why is this not allowed? What's going on? Maybe if, if I have everything on me. Stairs. This is allowed. I mean, apart... Hmm? What the heck's going on? Let me move some of this furniture. By the way, you can find a mortar. Wait, what was it called? A mortar grinder? That looked kind of cool. And you can find bags of cement and bags of concrete. You can't actually do anything with it. It's probably just not implemented yet, but it is a little bit silly. Maybe there's some conflict with the roof. This does happen. Sometimes you have a plan and the game is like, oh, but you know what? This roof is cursed. This building is weird and janky. It could also... Let's see if this was a fact to this wood pegboard. I don't think so because all the way over there we couldn't place it either. But just to be... No? Carpentry... Stairs. No, we can't put it here. Anywhere here. That's so weird. Maybe the roof is weird. 
Let's try this. That seems to work. So now we get to roofs. Roofs are cursed in general. I would highly recommend scouting a whole roof with the walk to command. Like often these last two rows are jank. Here it's just the last one row I think. But there will be holes where you can fall through. If you're carrying way too much stuff you're gonna break a leg. Um, there being void is sometimes an indication, but not exactly. I've, I'm hardly the expert on roofs, but I have been on quite a few and it's not always consistent. So here, let me, let me go back a bit. Oh shit. Well. Took a bit more risk than normal because I knew it wasn't heavy, so I wasn't too worried about it. But yeah, if I stand here, you can see um, the game is isometric and there is some 3D-ness in the roof, you know? It's not all flat. But this only, only on the east and south side, there are models and sprites and 3D objects. So there is no roof in this section because there doesn't have to be because it doesn't it wouldn't look different it's all made just to work cosmetically and other than that if it's jank who cares <laughs> which yeah i i kind of wish they would have done it differently but this is what we have to deal with at least for now so what you can do is you can fill in these gaps with blanks you could just carpentry floor like you can put floor here for aesthetics reasons and here for safety reasons. But luckily you could just press Y or the right click walk to and walk to should never kill you. Like you won't be able to click where you can't go. I'm saying should because I'm not, you know, 100% sure it will absolutely will never. But I sort of trust it. So yeah, that's Roofs 101. It's um, basically Roofs will kill you. But if you know the basics, they might not. For now. Wait, do we have less void? Why do I see more roof now? What changed? Now it does look like there's roof. It's... Roofs are weird. That's that's the gist of it. All right, let's bring in some uh, bring in some planks. I don't think I uh, I brought the garbage bags, did I? Well, that's okay. Let's see how many planks did I put here. That's seven. That's 19, that's 25, that's a good start. That could be either six water collectors or a lot of planks. I think, oh, I think I'll make a kitchen, kitchen-like area somewhere on this wall or maybe in the back corner. Honestly, No, actually, let me think. I always like to have the north and the west walls for boxes because it's just easy to interact with them if you can easily see them. So I'll make this whole wall just storage. I think I'll put a sink here, one or two sinks and then a kitchen around this corner. Because of course kitchen has the same thing. It's easier to interact with if it's on the north and west side, but it's less, it's not something I need multiple times a day, typically, except for, you know, getting water, but. Man, this scares me. This is all safe, right? Wait, I thought that earlier I could fall through this.
Now this is all safe? Why is this safe now? I swear there was there was red before. What the fuck? How did the roof change? Alright, I am definitely not the roof expert. I'm I'm not going I'm not losing my mind, right? You guys seeing this? It this all used to be an open void. The last row used to be sketch. Maybe because I built here and I went up immediately and maybe I just went far away enough that it that something refreshed, that something changed. I I don't get it. It's It's weird. Um Let's see, we're agitated. Let's go have a smoke. I have no idea how long I've been going, but I'm in a nice flow. So I'll just, uh, I at least want to finish up a couple little things. Have that smoke real quick. I want to get the garbage bags. Uh, what else? I want to... There, it's 29. I'm gonna get doorknobs and hinges. Sweet. I wanna see if I have a branch. I think I have. That tree branch, cause that's one ingredient for a DIY ax. Just need a chip stone then. And I have a pipe wrench, that's good. So we can pick up our own furniture. Sweet. I'm a bit sleepy, which isn't ideal, but it's not too bad yet. Maybe I could just take a bunch of vitamins while I walk, while I walk back. Very hungry, reduce strength and healing. Whoops, I've been starving myself a little bit, partially on purpose. Because uh, last stream I was 85 or maybe even 86 kilograms, which was uh, clearly way too much. Wow, a bit too much. It temporarily reduces our fitness. It's not ideal. Mm. Yep, let's walk back. Pop a bunch of pills. Basically, if you take a whole bottle, then I think that gives you like six hours of energy or something. It's really a bit of a pain to take a whole bottle. Usually I use a mod called Vitamin Holic, which will uh, let you turn one bottle of vitamin pills into one object that you could just take in one go, which is just so nice. Like in combat, it does make life a bit easier. So I guess you could say it changes game balance, but it's one of those things that makes you go like, wow, it's pretty minor. So really not too worried about that. All right. I have planks. Let me take out the walk to command once more. Okay. It seems that it's still safe. Oh, except for here. What the heck? In that case, carpentry, wooden floor. We'll place wooden floor here. And now it's safe. And here. And here. I'll take out the walk to command. I 
Interesting. I'll place a plank here as a reminder, hopefully it works. <laughs> uh, that That is where our safe path ends. Now we're gonna go carpentry, furniture, rain collector barrel. And I'm gonna place one here. That's it? Yeah, not enough planks, that's okay. And one here, and that would probably be plenty, but... I'm gonna do four. That's overkill, I know. I would say one is probably fine for casual, for during the summer. Maybe one or two more for winter, because snow is not... snow does not fill your water collector. So you're going to have to have a buffer in case you get a long period with snow or a long period with just no rain for whatever reason. Um, yeah. We're getting drowsy again. I should probably try to get a hold of a bed or something to sleep on but just have a look in this place mm. no no really beds in there oh zombies you know what let's just go back home old home i mean doesn't feel like proper home anymore but you get the gist Look back, I think we're good. I don't really care if they attack my old place. There's two doors between me and them. I think there weren't any behind me. We'll be fine, right? <laughs> All right. Do we have an extra bedroom? I do not think we do have an extra bedroom. We should pick up a bed from one of our neighbors. That would be really nice. And something good to know is... Oh shit, I destroyed a bunch of beds, huh? I may have played myself. Well, there might be, there might be single beds somewhere. And there are also furniture stores. Would I have wrecked every single bed? Just the doubles, I hope? Well, it's not like these are the only homes in town, it's just... That would have been so nice. So you can pick up double beds. King size beds, whatever you want to call them. Um... But sadly, there's a chance to break them unless you have 10 level 10 carpentry. And it breaks into four parts. And each part has a chance of breaking. Of like, I don't know how high that chance would be right now. But it's higher than I like. But a single bed uh at a decent level has no chance of breaking and i'm sure i'm pretty sure we're at that level now let me show you how to steal a whole kitchen you need to have a hammer i think for the counters but also you need to have a wrench or a pipe wrench this is why i've been carrying one for a while you could just pick up a sink as furniture you might have to press R if it selects the, the counter instead of the sink. Just press R to select the sink. There is a chance of 25% to break 
even when you're at a high level carpentry, we got lucky, luckily. Now we can, ooh, snacks. Now we can clear out this, these counters. And now we can pick up, shit, one broke, one lived, and one is the heavy. That's okay though. Now I'm gonna equip one primary and one secondary. Actually, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Let me rethink this. How heavy are we now? 20. And if I equip a weapon, 23. Well. That's not too bad. We could fight for a tiny bit. Because we're so close to home and I know there aren't a lot of zombies here, I will risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. But... There. Now I'll equip the bat. It's... It gets rid of both. Uh, it unequips both pieces of furniture. I'm gonna place the counter. Then I'm gonna place the sink. Again, you need a pipe wrench. And yeah, all the clutter is now on top of the sink. I didn't think this through. Now we can right click the sink and do plum dark industrial sink. I should point out that there can only be one level between, actually the height difference can only be one level. So they have to be right above the sink and the water collectors could be here, 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 could be all around or on top of the sink. So basically, picture the sink, go up one, and then make a circle around it. If that makes sense. So in theory, you could hook up nine water collectors. And the order doesn't matter all that much. You could just place one water collector, then hook it up, then add more around it. And it is a okay. It's really no biggie. Holy fog. So yeah. We have a base. It's not... We don't have a bed. Let me see if I can quickly address that. Oh. Dramatic noises in the distance. We failed? Okay. Usually when you're not exerted and stuff, you're fine, but maybe the hung... Well, there's always RNG. I hear zombies, but I don't... So oh, there they are. Now I see zombies. Well, I guess they are really protective about their beds, huh? Let's see, we're a little sad, probably just because... Um, we've been anxious for a while and we probably got bored doing all that carpentry. That's okay though. We'll live. You could sleep on chairs, by the way. Or we could take a couch. A couch is an okay bed, that would be fine. I'm gonna try to pick up this bed. And here, we broke two parts. We have part one and one and three. And we could try somewhere else to pick up another bed and hopefully we can collect the parts like that. Oh, I see company. All right, it sounds chill now. All right, equip secondary, equip primary. Just calmly walk away. I heard another zombie come in, so...
So yeah, if we were trying to hop the fence... Oh shit, we have to go all the way around. Darn it. If we were trying to hop the fence, we would definitely drop what's in our right... No, in our left hand, in our off hand. So if you have a bag in your left hand, you'll drop it. So yeah, that wouldn't work, but luckily we have to walk to command. Just be very... Oh shit. Up this real quick. Luckily we have to walk to command. It helped out a little bit. Seems kind of chill. Yeah, we're good. Secondary, primary. Sweet. And now we have... Wait, this is gnome? Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I got turned around because of the fog. Shit, there's zombies over there. I think home is this way. New home. Perfect. Drop the couch. Run outside, see if there's no zombies after me. I kind of felt like I may have aggroed one, but... Nah, I think we're good. And now we can place a couch. Perfect. Um, I guess... For now, this will be our bedroom. By the way, let me just show you one thing. You can have one part on the ground, but close to you, and one part on you, the first part specifically, and that will also let you play something. So if you have furniture that's multi-part, but too heavy, keep part one on you, part two on the ground. And there we go, now we have a bed. It's an average quality, it's not great, we're gonna find a better one, but we have uh, we have the things we really, 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 really need. Although power would be really good, so I guess that's probably gonna be our next mission. Finding the gen mag at whatever cost, or maybe I'm actually just gonna go walk through every house off stream, because, you know, that could take a while. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very soon.